So, hey guys, Chao so here. So there has been two things I've been consistently wanting for the last few years of One Piece Treasure Cruise. I wanted more representations for pre-time skip, like batches and legends in general. And I've also wanted Bandai to make versus legends more frequently, like once every four months at least. And we're getting there slowly. But today I thought we combine these two thoughts. So the premise of this video is that we're going to look at the OG Straw Hats, Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Sandy and Usopp. We're going to look at their big battles before the time skip. And I'm going to pick one battle for each as suitable to get a potential versus legend. So this is not a super serious video, this is just a fun thought experiment, so let's get going. And we'll start with Luffy, obviously not too hard to find Luffy battles, could have gone for more than this. For example, we only have one East Blue battle here against Arlong, no Don Krieg or Kuro or such, but yeah, if Luffy were to get a pre-time skip East Blue versus Legend, like, there's no question it will be Arlong. But yeah, out of these potential versus Legends, I feel like we can scrap Arlong and Luchi right away, even if both are definitely memorable battles, but I feel like the big ones you do remember when you think about pre-time skip Luffy is against Crocodile and against Enel. And personally, if I were to give my biased opinion, it would probably be Luffy versus NL since I'm a big Skypea fan. My only annoyance with Skypea in One Piece Treasure Cruise is that it always has to be NL. I want more than just NL. But yeah. But if I had to pick like on a more impactful level, I think Luffy versus Crocodile is the correct answer. We'll definitely like to see that. It would be cool to get a new Alabasta proper batch. Not happen in forever. So yeah, please do that. Moving on, we have Sorrow and we have, of course, many iconic moments. We've om I've omitted a few, for example, Hatsham, for example. It's not here or like body Buggy Sidekick there, stuff like that. But I, yeah, these are a few decent options, like Mihawk, Sora's first biggest battle, one of the most iconic moments. We have the battle against Kaku, should probably be before Ryuma. Kaku, very cool battle as well. We have Ryuma when Sora got his sword and all of that. And finally we have in the very same arc, we actually have Kuma 2, which is... Pretty fitting for a versus in One Piece Treasure Cruise because a lot of the versus legends in One Piece Treasure Cruise are not really proper battles. Like Sora actually does some fighting with Kuma, but the reason, of course, the Kuma moment is remembered is because of Sora's iconic sacrifice and all of that. So for me here, it easily comes down to either Sora versus Mihawk or Sora versus Kuma. I think Mihawk is the easy answer. But if I had to pick myself, I'd pick Sora versus Kuma because that moment has literally not got a single unit in One Piece Treasure Cruise, which is honestly a crime, I have to say. At least Sora versus Miyok have some reputation like this. Uh, Sora Treasure Map Recruit, for instance, is from that very moment. We also have a Mihawk support rear recruit where he's holding the little knife, stuff like that. But I'd definitely be fine with either of those. Both could very well be deserving of versus legends. Now it gets a bit harder when we move into <laughs> Nami. But I've managed to find four at least. So yeah, these are basically the battles Nami had. And I think we can see right away that there's two potential candidates here. Like... Uh, Nami did indeed fight these and she did finish them off with repel but she also did finish up absalom but obviously it was sunny doing the most work so 
Realistically, we're going for either Khalifa or Miss Doublefinger, and I'd say there's a case for both, like Miss Doublefinger in being Nami's first real opponent, first time Nami uses the Klima attack and all of that. But then Khalifa is like when she gets a bit more serious around it, when she starts showing some prowess and not only wins by like a fluke. So if I had to pick here, I'd go with Nami and Khalifa. That's the more memorable one, for sure. Uh, moving on, we do have Sanji, and Sanji also have a lot of battles. We have Absalom again. Could have had some maybe more pre-time skip to like Kurobi stuff like that, but I feel like Gin is the East Blue Sunday fight that people remember. Maybe Pearl as well, they go in a package, I'd say. But yeah, I think it's hard to argue a lot here. Like the two big ones are obviously Jabra and Bonclay. Jabra being a very cool moment when Sandy finally uses the Ifrit Jambe, I think it's called. When he does his, the spinning motion and burns his feet, which is one of the most iconic Sanji moves. But honestly, I feel like Von Clay versus Sanji is the winner. One of the most iconic fights from Alabasta. And Von Clay ends up being a very iconic character in itself. Like, Jabra is revived in the manga now, but he's never been a character people care about. And yeah, there's just a lot of touching moments with... Bon Clay, he even managed to incorporate a bit of Sanji's traits in that he can turn into Nami and Sanji has to play around with like that, which is a pretty interesting fight in itself. See, so I go with Sanji versus Bon Clay here. Finally, we have Usopp and we have a lot of <laughs> opponents to choose here. Yeah, I did include Luffy here because otherwise I don't know what fourth unit I pick here, like maybe Spandam, but that would have been a bit weird too. But Uso versus Luffy is very iconic, and I think that she'll get a versus, Lu uh, versus unit in some way. Like if he could get a treasure map, Luffy versus Uso, for example, free to play, that would have been super cool. I wish they did more stuff like that. But if we're going to pick an actual enemy for the versus unit, we have Shu from the Arlong Pirates. Like that guy has a lot of different names. I'll go with Shu. We have Mr. Four and Miss Dowelfinger, and we have Perona. And honestly, I think this is the hardest to pick because I legit love all of these three battles. Like, like the shoe battle, I think that's my favorite of the Along Park battles because at that point you didn't have any expectations for Usopp. And he ends up winning pretty easily once he gets going. And Mr. Four, Miss Doublefinger has Usopp's Believe in Luffy moment, stuff like that. And it takes such a big beating there before turning it around. And then we have the Perona battle where Usopp really gets to shine and carry the crew. And I'll go with a bit of the same reasoning as before in that. Perona is just more iconic than the others, and it's hard to argue that it's one of Usopp's greatest moments as well, since Perona is one of the, like, officers of Moria, and in general Usopp hasn't beaten those, at least not when there's not many, like, so that was a big feat by him where he carried the crew, so yeah, I'll go with Usopp versus Perona there, and I'll say that if I could pick... They do like a legend for all of these, and we get batches, like we get an Alabasta batch with Luffy versus Arlong. We could get a uh, potential, it's not Nimble Down, it's... Uh, yeah, Kuma Orc, I don't remember what that ship is called again. But like, an, an Orc with that, where we can get maybe Sora versus Kuma, and Uso versus Perona. Like, stuff like that will be fantastic, in my opinion. And I might have said pre-time skip here, but I basically didn't include anything from Impel Down or stuff like that. Could I maybe try and include some Impel Down, but the problem is that it was just Luffy there, and Luffy has enough of potential battles. 
But yeah, let me know what you think out of these, which one would you like the most, and maybe you'd like something I didn't suggest. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.